Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. I've got a great little project for you today. It's a self-binding receiving blanket. This is so cute. You can see the example of some of these right here. Now what you're going to need for this is two pieces of flannel. One is 30 inches and one is 40 inches. So once you've got those cut out, you can see I have those two pieces here. Then you're going to need to put a pin in the middle, in the middle of each side. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold them like this and find that middle and put a pin in there. And we're going to do that to both pieces. So let's quickly do that. Okay, I've got my pins in this one. And here's my side pins go here. We're lucky because we, um, the way we cut it, we have the fold to use as a marker for these sides. And then you're just going to do the same thing with the big piece. So we're going to put a pin here in these, in the middle of each side, and one here. These are so quick and fun. You're really going to enjoy this. They make great little gifts too. If you need something in a hurry, this really is about a 10 minute project. Okay, so now we'll find our middle on the other side. And you have to be pretty exact about this. This is like the main part of it um, to get these, you know, get them, you got to get them pretty close. Pretty close, meaning really close. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the middles. So then what we're going to do is we're going to lay our two pieces of flannels out like this. We're going to put right sides together and we're going to pin the middles together on each flannel. So we're, we're going to pull this one up here. And we're going to go ahead and pin it, pin them on all four sides. So then we'll come over here and, oh, I almost lost that pin. You want to make sure you don't have any baby, any pins left in this baby blanket either. So you're going to come over here and pin again. I know this looks a little crazy, but I've done crazy things before. <laughs> And it always works out. Okay, so here's this last one. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to put a pin right here and mark this so that we don't sew on it because we need to leave an opening so that we can flip the blanket right side out when we're done. And as you can see, this isn't going to reach clear to the end. So we're going to sew from the center pin down it a quarter of an inch down to the end and, and leave a quarter of an inch opening right here on the end. And we're going to do that on all four sides. So I like to just put a little pin right in there so I know where to stop. And, uh, and so I'll probably, I'll just go ahead and do that on these so you can see. So you're going to sew right here from the middle all the way down here and you're going to stop a quarter of an inch from the end. It's really important that you don't sew right over that. Um, you're just going to stop a quarter of an inch. So we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew some of these seams and we'll meet you back here in a minute. Okay, so we're starting right here at the center and I'm going to get it set up so that my um, sewing machine goes in right on the other side of that pin. We don't want to sew over that pin, but I want to leave that pin in there to mark that center. Then we're just going to sew a quarter of an inch like we always do. And quilting everything is a quarter of an inch. So we're just going to sew right down this edge. Let's see, just a little bit more. And I've got a pin in there where I need to stop. There we go. Okay, so now we're just going to move this fabric and do the same thing. We're going to sew from the middle out on each side. Okay, so here we are at the very end of our last seam. We've sewed from the middles all the way out to the end. And we've got it. So now what you get, this is going to look a little funny to you, is you're going to get this, this kind of wonky looking square blanket with these kind of bunny ears sticking out the side. So first we want to take out all our pins. Make sure that we don't have any pins left in our little blanket. And then we're going to miter these corners. And this is so, this is cool. You're going to love this. Okay, so we've got a little miter here. And what we're going to do is, what
what we're going to do is we're going to fold these corners out straight like this. And we have, to, we have to fold up this little bit of fabric in here, right here. See, we're going to put these two sides together like this. Match up our two sides. And then you'll have this straight little fold out here. Can you see that? And I'm going to show you again. We've got the two sides of the quilt. We're going to bring them together so they meet up. And then this is going to be a straight point out here. Now what you're going to do to find your 90 degree angle is you're going to need a ruler with a straight edge and we're just going to put the edge of the ruler. Here, let me scoot these things so you can see a little better. We're going to put the edge of the ruler on the fold and line up this edge over here. So we're lining up the edge on the fold and then we're bringing it in over here to the stitch line and we're going to draw that line. Or if you're brave, you can just cut it off. But this is how your line should look. It should look, you know, make like an equilateral triangle right there. So again, we're going to put our, our ruler on the edge like that, draw the line, and then this is our stitch line. So let me, let's go ahead and stitch that. And this will make our first corner. And you're just going to start right from the stitches and stitch straight down on the pencil line that you drew. And then we're going to get our scissors, or you can rotary cut this either way, and we're just going to trim that off. Now, if you're a little nervous about whether your cut's right, make sure you look inside first to make sure it's going the right direction. Now we're going to go ahead and do that to the other four corners, and we'll meet right back here. So we've sewn all the corners, and now we're going to clip this last one off, and then we're going to turn it right side out. All right, we have to find the little our hole. Oh, here it is. Now we're just going to reach inside there and we're going to, I try to, I, I stick my thumb, thumb up in this corner and push it back, you know, to make a nice point. And I try to do that on each of the corners. You're just going to turn it right side out. Make sure all those points are nice. See this cool mitered corner? Look at that. Here, I'll show you another one. There's another one, standing nice and tall like a little hat. All right, here's the last one. Now I'm going to lay this down and you're going to see what we got here. Look, self-binding. How cool is that? Now what you're going to do is we're going to iron this nice and flat and then we're going to just top stitch along the top of this to make it lay flat and hold the two pieces of flannel together. And then we're going to be all done. All right, so let's go ahead and press this down. And if you have a corner like this that doesn't quite um, come out, you can just take a little pin in there and, you know, stick it into that fabric and give it a pull and make that corner nice and sharp. So let me go ahead and press this a little bit here. There we are. Move those out of the way, or I'll knock them off with my wild pressing. I have two little baby nieces that were just born, little girls, and so they need some receiving blankets, I think. So with any luck, these, we will get these out to them, and they are so cute. How cute this is with these fancy flowers. And polka dots, I love polka dots. There we go. All right, let's clip our threads while we're working on it here. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sew all the way around the top. And we're just gonna sew, I am going to, um, this is a nice time to use one of those fun stitches that we have on our machines. As quilters, we don't often use those different stitches. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some, one of those fun stitches that, you know, that will cover kind of both sides of the seam. And I like to do one of those zigzags that has a little stitch on it. So let's just take this over to the sewing machine and give that a sew. And when you sew across, you can see here, let me show you this real quick. You can see here, this right here is the hole where we, um, where we turned it.
And we're just going to sew right across that. You don't even have to hand stitch. This really is pretty much a 10 minute project. So let's go ahead and I'm going to change the settings on my machine so that I can um, do this. And what I would suggest is that you get a little scrap piece of fabric and you're going to run your stitch on it ahead of time to make sure that it looks how you want it to look and, you know, and it's going to work for you. So, um, and you're going to start from the corner. And then we're just going to sew that all the way around. So let's go ahead and get sewing on this. And I really want mine a little bigger than that. And I should have checked it out ahead of time. Hang on. There we go. And it just sails right across that. Okay, so now we have a nice little stitch and we're just going right across this. I'm catching both sides with my stitch. And I'm almost to the corner. And I just like to keep that smooth with my hands. And then we'll put our needle down and turn the corner. Again, we're going to go right across both of the both of those, where, right where the seam comes together. We're going to sew across both of these um, fabrics right where the seam comes together. So we'll see you back here in a few minutes for the finished product. Okay, so here we are with the finished product. Take a look at that. Isn't that adorable? It's just so cute with the two fabrics. You've got this is the back and the front. We've stitched a little stitch all the way around. Let me show you a couple of other examples. Look how cute this fabric is with the little owls. And we put this little pink floral in the middle. And then here's one with the pink dots. And, the, and this pretty wild polka dot in the center. Anyway, it's just a really quick and easy project. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.